Hey, welcome. So today we're going to be taking a look at one of the new collections for April 2023, which is the Magic Collection. So we have 14 Reaper projects for this collection, and it covers 1,389 sounds. So one of the things I'll be demonstrating is a little bit of some implementation using Wise and Unreal. Um, just kind of be demonstrating the different components of the spell sounds that you get, whether it's the loops, impacts, or the casting. Let's jump in and start taking a look at the main project window here. There's essentially three different kinds of projects that you'll sort of run into. So we have buffs. And then we have these elemental or spell sounds. So these cover uh, different types like fire, uh, fairy, strength, generic, heal, ice, lightning, basically all the, all the elements. And then we have these two additional projects here, spell, and summon. All right, so I'm actually inside of the elemental ice project here. Um, so generally what you're going to find is you're going to have a cast start. And then you'll have a loop for the spell casting. And then you'll have a cast stop sound. You also find you'll have a projectile loop sound. And then we also have an impact sound, which has a start and stop, as well as a looping component. So all things considered, you have pretty good coverage in terms of uh, having enough sounds to cover all the actions of spells, things that will line up with transients of your spell sounds, um, as well as a uh, looping bed that can match the duration for any type of AOE effects. Or any type of, um, you know, event that could cover various durations of time. So uh, there's a lot to work with in here. And obviously you'll see that in my example that it was pretty easy to match these up to events. And then it's not really difficult to match these up time-wise. Okay, so I used the elemental fire for my example. So inside of this project, you can kind of see what was going on here. It's similar to the others in structure. But let's take a quick layer-by-layer layer listen to each of these things. So very similar to what we had in the sci-fi weapons collection, we have the size macro that we can sort of play around with to basically change the perceived size or um, intensity of the underlying spell sounds. So that goes across the board, manipulating multiple instances of enrage and changing uh, some of the e EQ settings and some of the filter settings to basically make uh, an easy way for you to change the uh, listener or the user's perspective of how large these spell sounds are perceived. So you can kind of play around with that a little bit. Now going over each of the events and just kind of describing the way that they sort of work. So for the spell cast, it's pretty simple. It's just going to play the fire spell casting sound. After the player casts the spell, there's a projectile loop sound that will play um, local to where the projectile is and where it's traveling. Until the impact start so when the fireball impacts the ground or an obstacle, um, it's going to play the fire impact start. It's also gonna play the debuff start, which is just a layer that I added for additional flavor. Um, then it'll start playing the loop that associates with the impact sound and the AOE effect. Also, it's going to stop that projectile loop. So whenever the impact happens, the projectile loop will be stopped by the same event. And then it's also going to have a post event, which will trigger the impact stop. It will also stop and fade out the loop for the whole entire uh, effect. Wow. 
So the thing I probably like best about this collection overall is just how granular and how much control you actually get with all the sounds. Um, so having the various different uh, transients, like the impacts, the spells, start and stop casting, um, everything is just really well covered in terms of the actions or events that you might actually need them for. Um, so it's really not hard to get these things into your project and get everything lined up relatively easily. Um, because you know you're going to have those start and end sounds for pretty much every application that you might encounter. Uh, and then compounding on that, being able to change the size aspect. Um, like if I wanted the impact of the spell sound to sound large, and then, you know, when the spell dissipates, if I wanted to have that impact or that end transient to sound smaller, you can just do that super easily with those manipulating that weapon size parameter um, or the, in this case, the spell size parameter. So um, super high value, you know, all the projects are laid out in a way that makes sense. So all in all, a really great collection, super useful if you need any sort of magic sounds, obviously. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful, giving you a sense of how these spell sounds could be useful in the new magic collection. Um, so make sure that you like and subscribe uh, and, you know, stay updated on any of the new videos that come out and be sure to check out the human movement video as well so you can see how I incorporated that into the same Unreal project. Um, so once again, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hopefully, you know, you'll be enjoying these collections and uh, take care and we'll see you in the next one.